just welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. And we're done. Now, I didn't show the build of it because, you know, I don't get not very much views on here. So, this is what we're getting. So, we got Godzilla. We got a cave. This is called a cave spider. And you can see there's a spider in there. And there's spiders all over there. It's got some toxic waste going on. Uh, I'm going to show you on this side. Oh, we got a little old man living in the, up here. And that's how he gets down. And then he's got a boat at the bottom, a little black boat. Now the storyline to this is the old man didn't know that there was anything living under his rocks. And every day he'd go down, head out to town, come back. And all of a sudden he heard something. And it was a damn big spider. And that spider was obviously collecting radioactive canisters. And we know Godzilla. He don't like that. He's radioactive himself. So we got two buttons here. One, you turn it on, you get the radioactive that glows. And two, now the way I'm holding it is because it's still wet. Got this button here. And you got him shooting his fire at the spider. Let me just shut this light off so you can see better. Here we go, guys. This is what the build looks like. It lights up pretty good. That's what I did. So, put that back on. So this is just a very basic 3D printed Godzilla, 3D printed cave spider, 3D printed house. This is all styrofoam that I built. This is just pieces of popsicle sticks for ladders with some wire. I got some resin, epoxy resin at the bottom. It's pretty heavy, I'd say it weighs about five pounds. A couple of dollar store lights that I ran through the Godzilla, wrapped it with a cotton ball, painted it so it looks like the fire. Um, oh yeah, 3D printed um, radioactive barrels. It's about three pores of about an inch to two inches, I think it's two inches of uh, resin painted. I didn't do the bottom yet, that's going to be a last thing. Uh, sealed, nothing leaked. Airbrushed all the way through. And that's what you get. So, this is just something I always wanted to do. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to go around and do with it. Am I going to sell it or if I'm going to do a giveaway? Again, I said maybe. I'm not sure yet. It is kind of heavy, so for me to end up sending this to somewhere in the States or anywhere, the UK or whatever, it would cost them a couple of bucks because of the heaviness. Plus, I'd have to be able to, you know, package it really well. Check that out. What a fitting shirt to work on, eh? You know it. But... Give me some time. Maybe after Christmas we'll figure it out. <clears throat> we're getting pretty good on the subs. Uh, we're almost at uh, 2,000. Maybe 3,000, 2,000. I mean, it's not always you know, a big thing. I get some views. I get you know odds here and there, which is good. But we'll keep on going on it. Let me know what you think. Is this something that's you know you'd be interested in making or maybe even interested in having? Let me know. I'm going to leave this for now and say thanks for watching. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Choose your own path. See you on the next one.